is full of his big plans And he's down at the end of his road He's a silly old dope He laid down his hope to be a big man Yeah, well, uh, you know, when we started this whole thing, all we wanted to do was play Bon Jovi songs. You know, that's what was important to us. You know, that's what we felt what we were about. I, I, I still think that John and the boys really are, are probably the best American band ever. But, you know, I mean, we moved here, and then, uh, you know, that just wasn't cool. And, you know, people would tell us, you know, that you guys are not cool. You guys just, you know, you're not going to make it playing Bon Jovi songs. You know, and that was kind of a hard thing, a hard thing for us to accept. But, you know, we figured, well, you know, when in Rome, so, you know, I mean, like, I went out and I got these clothes that, you know, they're not spandex, you know, they're a little loose, a little sloppy if you ask me, and I bought these glasses, which I don't even need, and, you know, we figured, well, we'll do what we have to do to be successful. So, you know, I, uh, I started telling people I, you know, went to college and, you know, Graham started speaking in this fake British accent and, you know, I figured, well, if we can't be, you know, a hard rock band and wear spandex, then, well, we'll, you know, be an indie rock band you know, and we'll, you know, act like we are smart and, you know, went to college and that we really can't play our instruments very well. I mean, I guess that's what people want. friend of these guys we were we were gonna do uh we were gonna go straight to the top with a bullet with the glam with the glam angle and big hair uh lots of makeup and and uh spiked leather boots um but that 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 wasn't too marketable i guess i i didn't care about the markets really i just wanted to do what i liked um but you know, with that you gotta you gotta bend, you gotta bend with other people. And they wanted to they wanted to go for the jugular on the American market, uh, 
or the Japanese market and uh, just make the money. So we started doing uh, we started doing this uh, punk rock thing and um, you know tail into that and we uh, we started doing some some uh, just in the basement we started doing some rap things. It was kind of the tail end of the white boy rap thing. So uh, we've got a lot of the tail end of a, of a lot of big fads, and and that hurts. But you know, it, it was it was a it was a learning time for us. Is where we really uh, got our hands dirty, so to speak. So that was a lot of fun back then.